A flower is attracting a lot of people to the campus of Austin P State University, and it hasn't even bloomed yet. This is a live look at the corpse flower and is named that for good reason. It gives off a horrible stench once it blooms. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb takes us to Clarksville where people were stopping by to see if they could get a whiff. Well, it's going to bloom soon. One after another, they arrived. I've read about it and heard about it all my life, but to actually see it, I just wish I could smell it. <laughs> They've been asking you, when is it going to start to smell? All of them hoping to smell something stinky. Oh, rotting meat. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of it, rotting meat. <laughs> there were all sorts of things like uh, types of cheese and fish and dead animal carcasses and feces. Nestled inside the Austin P State University greenhouse sits Amorphophallus titanum, aka the corpse flower. Because it smells like a dead corpse, yeah. Well, not quite yet, mind you. It hasn't bloomed yet. But APSU professor Carol Baskoff says it's close. Uh, no guarantees. That's kind of been my motto. No guarantees. <laughs> the imminent bloom and accompanying stench could happen any day, Carol says. It only lasts for a day and a half at most, prompting visitor after visitor to check on its progress at the greenhouse. Because it's so weird, I guess. <laughs> the flower is meant to smell bad once it blooms, to trick bugs into thinking it's a carcass into which they can lay their eggs. Those bugs pick up the flower's pollen, which they spread elsewhere. For today, no bloom and no stink yet, but visitors didn't seem to mind. We'll be back to smell it, <laughs> to get a whiff. Proving that a corpse plant by any other name would smell as sweet. I think it's gonna smell like rotten cheese. Jason Lamb. Rotting flesh. News Channel 5. I'd pick rotten cheese over the other option. Yeah, it's, oh. it's amazing to see. But I don't, I don't it's one of these terrible things you can't look away from, right? right? You yeah. just can't get enough of it. Well, if you would like to check out the sights and smells for yourself, you can head to Austin Peay's Sunquist Science Complex from 6.30 in the morning till 10 at night each day this week. But remember, you won't smell anything until it blooms. You can also watch the plant's progress on a live stream. Folks in our newsroom have been glued to it. We have a link. Mm -hmm on our website.